Okay, we're on unit 25, lesson, the second lesson in there. It's page 262. Read the problem below, then explore different ways to find a volume of a rectangular prism. Abigail used cardboard to build a rectangular prism like the one shown below. So again, a rectangular prism. Rectangle, rectangular, means that it's rectangle in shape. Prism means that it's three-dimensional and it has a flat top and a flat bottom, flat sides. If it was a pyramid, it would come up to a point. So this is like a shoe box or a Kleenex box, cereal box, anything like that that makes you think of a box, whatever box you think of. When we are trying to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we need three dimensions. We need to know how deep it is, how wide across it is, and how tall it is. And the way that we find the volume then is to multiply those three numbers. So three times two times four, or two times three times four, or four times two times three. It doesn't matter what order you put those in because it's all going to have the same answer. So two times three times four, or you could do four times two times three. You could do three times four times two. Um, that's the commutative property. The commutative property says, hey, it doesn't matter which way we commute, which way, which number we put first, we're going to have the same answer. So all of those are going to answer 24. Now, what we need to think about is that that would be putting 24 one by one by one cubes down inside. So we can look at this first layer here and see that there's four on the front. So there has to be four on the back. So each layer is eight and eight times three is 24. So we can do it that way or we can do it this way. But it's each one of these cubes is a one by one by one. You can also find the volume by counting the number of cubes in one layer and multiplying it. So this one was, you can find it prism by filling it with unit cubes. Oh, and counting the cubes, counting all of the cubes. And this one says, hey, we can find the amount of layers down here. And then we can say it's three high. So that's another way of doing it. Okay, now let's connect this and see if we can answer some questions. Next, you will solve some problems from the previous page. Look at the models on the previous page. How could you find the number of cubes in one layer without counting the cubes? Well, you would have without counting the cubes. How, let me see that again. How could you find the number of cubes in one layer without counting the cubes? If it's two deep and four wide, you could multiply two times four. So you could say two times four because it is two deep and four wide. So I don't have to count. I know that two times four equals eight. Once you know how many cubes are in one layer, what else do you need to know to find the volume? We need to know how high the prism is. Okay, since there are eight cubes in each layer and there are three layers, what multiplication expression can you write to find the prism, the volume of the prism? We just did that, so we know that it was eight times three. What is the volume? It is 24 cubic, oops, cubic units, cubic units. Explain how you can use multiplication to find the volume of any rectangle. It's the same thing. We multiply the three numbers. Number seven, what is the rectangle of this? So what you would do is you would do three times three times three, which is three times three is nine. So you have to remember to do this. So many people want to add those together. So now I've got nine times three which equals 27. And this one, if you look over here, it says it's inches. So I'm going to write inches and then I'm going to say cubed, three inches cubed, because I can't make that little three when I'm typing like this. 
So Mr. Wong filled the figure below with one foot cubes to find its volume. What is the volume of Mr. Wong's shape? Two times two times one equals four feet cubed. Pretty easy, I believe. Now, let's look at what we need. We did those two. So today, I need you to work on page 285 and 286. I want you to pause the video. I want you to do those. And then I want you to turn the video back on because I'm going to give you the answers really quick. There you go. There's the answers for what you just got done doing.